Hello. <laughs> My camera's doing something weird. Um, I just got home from work, and it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I gotta go back to work tomorrow between 7 and 3. So, the dogs are going crazy. Come here. All right. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, so I just filmed this a minute ago, but everything got interrupted because of the dogs. So, I just got home from work. Okay, so I just got off work. Me too. Just shut up, I'm thinking. I just got off work too. I want to let everybody know. <laughs> That's right. We both just got off work. It's He's actually early. Yes. He's usually don't, not off till 5. But I got off work at 3, and I just got home, and now it's about 4 o'clock, I think. Close to 4. And tomorrow I'll work again from 7 to 3. So my time off today will be from now until 10 o'clock tonight, which is about 6 hours. So I've got plenty of time to get some stuff done. Now, Last night, I did not wash my face, I did not put my mask on, and I did not take a bath. So my hair is very oily, I look pretty dirty, and I'm going to take care of all that today, I think. So. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> but for right now, I mean, for the rest of the day, I wanted to, um... <laughs> okay, so... I wanted to clean the house today. I'd like to get it all cleaned, actually. Well, not all of it clean, but I'd like to clean a lot. That's not the surprise. Okay, good. <laughs> I have something I told Anthony I wanted I to do today, to do and I wanted to wait until he was on camera before I could see his reaction so you could get the fresh reaction. I might have to edit it out. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that in a minute, but for right now, I wanted to let you know what I'm going to do today, and so that's going to be clean, and I'm going to try to actually pamper today myself. Well, that didn't sound right. I'm going to actually have a pamper night. You pamper yourself like at a spa? You've yeah. never heard of this? I know what you're saying. Go ahead. Because I'm going to have a bath. <laughs> that's <laughs> Which that's is... a normal routine for <laughs> most people, dear. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use my face mask and wash my face really well. Which is also a normal routine. <laughs> the mask is not. And then I'm going to remove what nail polish I have left on and try to do like a nail treatment thing and do a manicure. For what reason, I don't know. Just thought it would be nice. But before all of that, I'd like to clean the house and have some dinner. But before that, I'd like to show you my surprise for Anthony. Might need a jacket. Might need what? A jacket. A jacket. Where's your jacket? Is that it right there? Yeah. Might need the jacket? Yeah. Because I have something for us. Oh. Want, to, want to look at the camera while I tell it to you, or do you want to wait till we go out? I'll just wait till we go out. Well, we don't have to go all the way out, because I need something in here. Okay, dear, I'll tell you what I've decided to do today. Okay. And I thought it would be fun to tell you on video. <laughs> um, what we should do is patch up that hole at the fence in the backyard. <laughs> is that a good idea? No, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> But well, we're gonna do it. I don't like that idea. We have to. Things. Every time we let the dogs out, they run away. Like, you get pampered all day, and I gotta clean the house and fix the fence. You didn't know. I said you're cleaning the house. <laughs> <laughs> I never said you were gonna clean the house. My pamper day. You can pamper yourself. But yeah, for real, it just take ten minutes. Put up all that right. last little string of. I thought I did it the other day. I didn't really do it. And I'm gonna take the tripod so it can watch us. <laughs> and you have, oh dear. I'm dirty, I know. No, turn your side. Turn to the side. Scratch marks. Oh, okay. I thought you left. See, I thought this was a big patch of hair you forgot to cut off, but it looks like no, tar. It's, it's not tar. It's got to be from one of the one of the put on each one of the houses today. I was working. Properly. Cut this out. That's pretty cute. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the tripod so that I can maybe set it up without the legs getting peed on by the dogs. <laughs> to film us working on the fence, and I'm gonna show you what's going on out there. You know the dogs are messed. I know, dear. I've seen it, and so have they. Why? Because I keep tearing stuff off. Look at this, everyone. Look at our rotting, rotting porch. This is already bad when we got here, you but. Know, I think I'm gonna fix this little bit for temporary. No, 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 I want a new deck. It's just two boards. It'll do all that, just about. Look at that damage. And then, right here, there's a crack. 
can't get down our steps. Well, I mean, we can. We just have to be very careful. There's a hole. Ho, ho, ho. Anyways, look at all this trash from Anthony's working on the roof. How'd that tarp get way out there? Wind. Now, this is what men do when they try to fix things or clean up. Oh, no, I didn't clean yet. That's just fixing things. That's what happens when you try to clean the inside of the house. A mess like this occurs. But that one is done. What's this? Some, a map? An atlas? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so here's our backyard. This area. You see where that white house is? The fence that run, runs along our yard in front of the white house is where the dogs get out. There's, There's there. millions of other spots, but this is the main one. So we've worked on stealing them up by using chicken wire because to actually rebuild the entire fence, which is what needs to be done, would be very, very costly. Mm. So we'll show you, show you where we started. Started way down here. This is the end of the fence. So you see those little green posts, that's where we started sealing out, sealing up little holes. And we have our chicken wire right here, and it's staked down. So all the way from the end of this fence, all the way down to that first tree is where a big gap in the fence is. And we have continuously worked on sealing it up. And right now, where this brick stops is pretty much where we got to. I think we're gonna start it off at this green fence post. And then go back this way to the tree. And that's what we're gonna use our chicken wire for. I also wanted to show you that behind this piece of wood is huge. First of all, the fence is gapped, you know. But then when the dogs notice a gap, they dig their big old heads under there and get out. Just stop. So that's the last hole they dug. Max, no! Get down. Where is he? He's climbing over the fence. <gasps> what? Where? He's climbing over top of it, behind that tree. Where? Oh, oh no, he's over. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come here, Max. <laughs> we just found out they learned how to climb over a tree over the top of the fence. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to find out what Max is doing because we wanted to show you a new... Well, right now he's trying to hide from Hugo who keeps humping him, but uh, on a day that he's not trying to hide from Hugo, he's probably going to use this as his new escape route. This is our fence. This is what I'm talking about. The whole fence needs to be redone. So it has grown into this tree and Max has figured out a way to climb right up there. Nothing stops Max. There's just no keeping these dogs in the fence. Now we have this, you probably can't really tell. Now we have this chicken wire draped across here. Across the fence. So the next thing I'm gonna do, like I just said, 
but the camera wasn't filming, is pick this ottoman up and clean the rug underneath it because I think that is where the dogs are peeing at. I think they're peeing around the ottoman and it just gets sunk in the carpet. We don't realize that when we get home until the smell collects. So, I'm going to do that next. What is going on? Okay, so my battery was getting ready to die so I didn't get to finish filming the rest of me cleaning the house, but I... Um, you saw me finish sweeping, and then I just started to pick things up around the house, um, and we're not quite finished yet. We've still got a few little ways to go, but I wanted to show you what we did so far. So, the carpet, I believe, is dry. If it's not dry, then at least the pea smell is gone, so that's done. I've got to move the ottoman back over there once it's fully dry, and the living room is picked up. And then for Christmas, we got a couple of pieces of furniture from a good friend, Dennis. So he got us this lamp stand and this little lamp stand. And Anthony worked on putting those together while I swept. So now those are put up together. And we have these boxes left over from that, which are also going to go outside. And I'm going to walk you around the house. So this is my computer room. And this entire shelf is cleaned off, thank God. It's still got a little bit of clutter. I need to go through all those papers and figure out what's important and what's not. But that's clean, and I'm so excited. And then you saw me sweep the floors. This looks a little more straightened up just because the, the floors are swept. Move that chair to the corner because it's just always in the way. These mattresses need to go to the curb, but the dogs love to lay on them. So until I get some real furniture in here, I just decided to leave them for the dogs. This is the bedroom. Of course, the bed's unmade. Who makes the bed? But I swept, straightened up our shoes nice and sweat. We don't have anything going on in here. Cleaned out those crates because they stunk. I think the room already smells better. We have lovely curtains on the walls. Then I swept the bathroom floors. This sink needs to be cleaned off. And yeah, that's pretty gross. But I'll get to that later. Clean the toilet lid. Just that part you sit on, not the rest of it. <laughs> it wasn't very dirty. I'm washing the bath mat. I stacked our shoes up. I'm gonna get to this pile of laundry. Tina did the towels today. Looks good in here overall. Like just walking in looking. Looks nice and fresh. Swept the hallway again even though I'm pretty sure Tina swept it yesterday but there was new trash. And this is the mop drying out so it's just laying there for now. And I swept the dining room. Uh, straightened up the table but I still gotta pick up those last few things. And swept the kitchen floor, which is really hard to actually clean thoroughly since um, the floors are so rough in here. It's really, I think it's probably impossible to actually clean thoroughly, but 
I do have to come in here and sweep every now and then. Um, this pile of clothes is clean. I'm gonna work on putting those away tonight and then get all of our laundry washed. Yeah, right. And then I like to keep this counter clear, so we've cleared half of it, but <laughs> I will work on the rest later. And I still need to do the refrigerator. All of these storage bowls have old food in them that I have not thrown out yet, so I need to go through there and clean the refrigerator out. The counter is a little bit picked up. We unloaded this drainer here. Um, let me back up and show you what the table looks like. So I moved the kitchen table. I used to have it sitting right up against that wall and more towards this door, but I moved it farther in and pulled it out from the wall some since we're always sitting at it anyway. And then I moved our trash can to this spot. It was sitting over here against that wall. And I think that looks a little bit more pulled together like that. I think that fills in the space just a little bit more, but that's our basement over there. I think this fills in the space a little bit more, but I cannot decide if I like it. I mean, it's a perfect spot for a table, but I feel like no table really just fits perfectly in there because that's not a real large table, and yet an actual large table wouldn't fit at all, and a small table would look too little. So, anyways, that's our table for now. And so that is everything. Now we're going to take a break and go eat dinner. It's 6.23 and we're going to go to a little buffet here in town. It's called Majestic Steakhouse. I'll try to vlog, but um, it's just a little bitty restaurant, a little bitty buffet, but they have good country food, nice fried okra. So we're going to eat there and then come back and finish cleaning and my bedtime I'm shooting for 10 o'clock. I still have a video to upload because I completely forgot to upload my Monday video again just like I forgot last Thursday to upload my Thursday video so I have to sit down and edit that which won't take a real long time but it always does and put that up tonight along with this vlog which is kind of long because I filmed a lot of stuff. Tomorrow might be a pretty good vlog too because when I got off work at 3 I'm going to go Christmas shopping and then come home and wrap some presents. So, <coughs> might have something to watch. But okay, that's all for now. So, talk to you later. Bye. These two lamps here and there are the ones that we got that Anthony put together a few minutes ago. They didn't have bulbs in them when I went around and showed you earlier. So we walked, we went to the store and bought bulbs. And now it just provides so much light. This was the only source of light we had before. And it made this part of the room pretty dark. So I'm so excited. It looks so beautiful. And now it's clean. talking to myself and the record button hadn't even been on. Anyways, um, I'm putting away a pile of clothes. This is the same pile of clothes that I showed you before we left to go eat and I told you I wanted to get these put away tonight as well as do some laundry. Um, so that's what I'm working on right now so that I can be productive while we talk. But I wanted to let you guys know that we did eat. We stopped at Fred's. So now it is past 8 o'clock and I'm not going to have time to get the laundry done like I had planned, but I am going to clean off the refrigerator because it is packed full of food that is rotten. <laughs> so Anthony's going to help me do that. He's also going to put together an umbrella, not an umbrella stand. He's also going to put together a coat rack for me that I bought from friends. So I'll show that to you once it's put up. That way you can see what it looks like outside of the box. And these are, these are my old baby clothes that I showed you guys in that haul. So, I'm not going to have time to do my nails or do my face mask tonight because it's already past 8. I'm trying to be in the bed in about an hour and a half. I think all I'm going to have to have to do is sit down and work on my videos, the one that I forgot to upload today, and then today's vlog as well. So, it's <laughs> still going to be a busy night. I'm not going to have time to do what I had planned. But, I work until 3 o'clock tomorrow, so when I get off work tomorrow, I'm off Wednesday, so I'll have 
So I'll have plenty of time to get some extra things done tomorrow as well as Wednesday. And I'm also off in the afternoon on Thursday. So I have Thursday as well and Saturday. So I don't have to worry about not getting my stuff done this week. But I feel very accomplished in what I got done tonight. And I'm very excited about it. And hopefully the kitchen will be cleaned tonight as well. Because we're going to get the refrigerator cleaned out. And then, of course, I'll be able to run the dishes and clean the counters. So I'm very, very excited about that. I keep reaching for the wrong rack because I'm distracted sitting here talking. So this is our coat rack slash umbrella stand. And it is a little cheaper than I had expected because it is lightweight so it wobbles. But this is the coat rack. Isn't that a beautiful Christmas tree in the background? Okay, I'm closing out my video. Um, I wanted to let you know that I think it's about 9.30, so all I'm going to do is get my bath and go to bed so I can be in the bed as close to 10 as possible. And then I am going to edit my video that is supposed to go up Monday, which was yesterday, and start uploading it tonight. But I'm not going to edit my vlog. I'm just going to save this vlog for tomorrow and edit it then, along with tomorrow's vlog. So, the Witherspoons say goodnight.